Hi everyone. In this problem, we are going to practice preparing a single step income statement. Below is information taken from the adjusted trial balance of Tiger Inc. for the year ended December 31, 2019. Prepare the single step income statement. Now, just to give you a little bit of knowledge, if you are not familiar with what an adjusted trial balance is, it is just the collection of ending balances in most of your financial statement accounts. They are used to populate your financial statements. So it's just telling you where the information came from. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can prepare a single step income statement with all its components from scratch. When you're ready, come back, I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Anytime I have a financial statement problem of this nature, I like to get it organized before I dive on in. So um, financial statements all require a header. So I'm gonna start off with the header here. Tiger Inc, that's the company name. Then you need the financial statement name, income statement. And then you have to put the um, period or point in time covered. Income statements cover a period of time. In this case, it is going to be year ended. 12 31 2019. All right, so there's our header file. I also like to organize all of the given information. And so we have a whole list of information here. And I want to determine what of this do I actually need versus what of this might just be extra information that I don't need. And so I'm going to go through and do that from top to bottom. First up, investments. Um, investments are an asset, and assets go on our balance sheet. So I'm going to put the word, I'm going to put, whoops, sorry, I meant to do that in blue here. I'm going to put A next to that for assets, but then I'm going to go ahead and strike it because we're not going to need that for an income statement. We're looking for revenue and expense. Next up, service revenue. So it, the, 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 the name kind of gives it away. This is a revenue. This will definitely be on our income statement. Rent expense, the name gives it away again, right? Rent expense, salaries expense, the name gives that one away too. Common stock, all stock accounts go on the shareholders equity section of the balance sheet. That is not an income statement item, so I'm going to scratch it. Interest revenue, the name gives it away. Interest expense, the name gives it away. Accounts receivable, accounts receivable is an asset on our balance sheet. And in fact, so is the next one, cash. So I'm going to strike both of those. Next up, income tax expense, the name gives it away. Then we've got copyrights. Copyrights are intangible assets, also on the balance sheet. And then we have loss on sale. Now, the name expense is not in there, but the word loss is essentially a substitute for the word expense. It's a special type of expense. So whenever you see the word loss, know that that is, for all intents and purposes, an expense that will be on the income statement. Likewise, if you see a gain, that, for all intents and purposes, is going to be a revenue on income statements. So. Here we go. We've scratched out um, five pieces of information that we're not going to need. The rest of it all falls into revenue or expense. Now we start assembling. Beneath our header, the first section of our single step income statement is the revenue section. And here we're going to list our revenues. Um, typically, you're going to list them in order of magnitude. You're also going to put the ones that um, uh, matter most to the business of the company up front, um, which will typically be your largest ones. So in this case, when we look at our revenues, we've got our service revenue. So that's related to business of the company, 230000 um, We've got some interest revenue. And actually, that looks to be about it. So we're going to put our service revenue first, serve rev. $230,000. And then we've got our interest rev for $2,300. Those are all of our revenues. So now we are going to subtotal that, call that total revenue. And that is going to be $232,300. And in, in, in the interest of not uh, squeezing things in in too small of a print, I'm just going to go ahead and do the expenses on the next slide. So I'm going to copy our notes over here um, and bring them with us. Do, do, do. Just give me a moment to get that in place. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to do our expenses section. And we had quite a few expenses, right? Rent, salaries, um, interest income taxes, and then of course this loss. 
and we're just going to go ahead and put those in order of largest to smallest as well. So it looks like our largest expense was that salaries, salaries expense at um, $90,000. And then after that, we have our income tax expense. I'm just going to call it tax expense for simplicity here, $24,500. Um, then we're going to have our rent expense at $14,000. Let's see, we have a couple more. Um, the interest expense at $5,000. 5, and then finally, we have that loss on sale. And that was 1500 By the way, I, I did a bad habit here. I didn't check these off as I went. Um, but just to make sure before I total up the expenses and total up net income, I'm going to run through the list here. I know I did service revenue on the prior slide. Um, I have rent expense in this list. I have salaries in this list. I know I did my interest revenue on the last slide. I've got my interest expense in this list. I've got my taxes in this list. And I have my loss in this list. So we have used all of the given information. That just means that we need to tally up our expenses. Um, and it looks like 90, that's going to put us at 114, 128, um, 133, uh, 130, do, 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 five total. If I am adding that up correctly, I believe that comes out to 135,000 dollars in expenses. So we put this as total expense. And then our final line is going to be our net income. And here's where we need to subtract our 232, 300 in revenue and our 135 in expenses. Bring in my calculator for this one. 232, 300 minus 135. Oh, oh, oh. And that is going to give us net income of $97,300. And that is the end of our single step income statement. You have a section for revenue, subtotal it. Section for expense, subtotal it. Take the difference in revenue expense. That's your net income and you are done. All right, hope you did well. Hope you found it helpful. Please join me for another video.